Once again, a few bad apples have spoiled things for the rest of us. In an effort to limit the opportunities bad actors have for hiding their identities behind shell companies and other opaque entities, Congress passed the Corporate Transparency Act in 2021. As a result, from January 1st, 2024, certain kinds of business organizations will be required to file a beneficial ownership information report. There are severe penalties for companies and owners if they don't. A major purpose of the legislation is to avoid the layering of corporate business structure to hide identity, which Congress likened to Russian nesting dolls. The report is meant to reveal who owns a company as well as those who were involved in setting it up. The feds hope this will cut down on the many illicit activities that employ corporate structures to disguise the perpetrators. The downside is that honest business owners face additional reporting requirements. Luckily, they are not too onerous. To see what information you need to provide and how to provide it, keep watching. What is beneficial ownership information? Beneficial ownership information is the information such as a name and address that allows individuals who directly or indirectly own, control, or organize a company to be identified. The information is to be reported to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, FinCEN, on a beneficial ownership information report, a BOI report. This information falls into three categories, the company, the beneficial owners, and the company applicants. Beneficial owners are those persons who own 25% or more of a company or who exercise substantial control over or in a company. Company applicants are the individuals that were involved in setting up the company. BOI information will not be made public, but will be accessible to federal, state, and tribal authorities. Does my company have to file a beneficial ownership information report? Your company will be required to file a BOI report if it is a reporting company and does not qualify for an exemption. You can determine if your company is a reporting company by answering one simple question. Is my company one that was created or formed or registered under U.S. law to conduct business in the U.S.? Doing so typically entails filing a document with the Secretary of State of a state or perhaps a tribal authority. If the answer is yes, then your company is a reporting company unless it is a type of company that is exempted. So in general, domestic or foreign limited liability companies or domestic or foreign corporations are reporting companies. What companies are exempt from filing a BOI report? The Corporate Transparency Act exempts 23 specific types of entities from the reporting requirements. These exempt companies are those providing financial or investment services, those operating in the securities industry as regulators or otherwise, public accounting firms, tax exempt entities such as nonprofits and inactive entities. Public utility companies, government entities, and large operating companies are also exempt. What is a large operating company under the Corporate Transparency Act? The feds realize that most companies set up to perpetrate skullduggery will have very few people involved and are unlikely to have a physical presence anywhere. On the other hand, genuine businesses will generally have employees operating from an established location, so large operating companies do not have to file a BOI report. Your company is a large operating company if you can tick all these boxes. Employs more than 20 full-time employees. Full-time means at least 30 hours per week. The full-time employees work in the U.S., has a physical distinct place of business in the U.S., filed a federal income tax or information return in the U.S. for the previous year showing more than $5 million in gross receipts or sales. The entity reported this greater than $5 million amount as gross receipts or sales. And at least $5 million in gross receipts or sales must be from U.S. operations. What happens if my company does not file a beneficial ownership information report? There are serious penalties for reporting inaccurate information or failing to submit a beneficial ownership information report by the stipulated deadline. Vincent warns that violators may incur civil penalties of up to $500 a day or criminal penalties including imprisonment for up to two years as well as a fine of $10,000. This means that if you are a senior officer of an entity, you could be held liable if a beneficial owner fails to provide information on time or submits false information. In such a case, the errant beneficial owner would also be liable. Who is a beneficial owner of my company? Let's talk now about who a beneficial owner is, because the information on beneficial owners is perhaps the central part of the BOI report. A beneficial owner is any individual who directly or indirectly exercises substantial control over a reporting company or owns or controls at least 25% of the ownership interest of a reporting company. So someone might be a beneficial owner through substantial control, ownership, interests, or both. Naturally, there must be at least one beneficial owner, but there may be more. Also note that a beneficial owner can never be an artificial legal person, such as an LLC, 
a beneficial owner must be a natural person. Who will have substantial control of a reporting company? A reporting company could have many individuals, each of whom exercises substantial control. Someone will be considered to have substantial control if that person is a senior officer, has the authority to appoint or remove senior officers or a majority of directors, is required to make important decisions, in some other way exercise substantial influence or control over the company. A senior officer would be any member of the C-suite or anyone with a similar authority. What is an ownership interest? An ownership interest is anything that gives an individual a right to stake in a company or a share in the profits. An ownership interest may be called a membership interest, membership unit, equity share, capital contribution, or some other similar name. Ownership interests also include rights to vote on company matters or options to acquire a stake in the company in the future. Does my company have to report its applicants? A reporting company is only required to report its company applicants if it is either a domestic reporting company created on or after January 1st, 2024, or foreign reporting company first registered to do business in the United States on or after January 1st, 2024. A domestic company created before January 1st of 2024 or a foreign company registered to do business in the U.S. before January 1st, 2024 does not have to report its applicants. Note that with regard to the beneficial ownership report, a foreign company is a company formed under the laws of another country. So even though an LLC operating in Texas that was formed in New York may be referred to as a foreign LLC in Texas, FinCEN will regard such an LLC as a domestic company, not a foreign entity. Who is a company applicant of my company? A company applicant is an individual who directly files or is primarily responsible for the filing of the document that creates or registers the company. Naturally, there has to be at least one company applicant. There are two kinds of company applicants, the direct filer and the person who directs or controls the filing action. As will be obvious, there must be a direct filer. Someone has to deliver the physical documents containing the articles of organization to state authorities or carry out the equivalent electronically. However, the direct filer may be acting on instructions from another. That is, the direct filer may simply be the agent of another person who directs or controls the filing action. In many instances, the two hats will be worn by the same person as when a sole entrepreneur does all the paperwork of creating an LLC. But when a filer is acting on behalf of someone else, that person must be identified. Thus, a company may have two company applicants. What specific information has to be reported about my company, its beneficial owners, and its applicants? The information to be submitted to FinCEN on a BOI report can be divided into two categories, information about the company and information about beneficial owners and applicants. For reporting companies, the following details are required. A legal name, any trade name or doing business as name, complete current U.S. address, state, tribal, or foreign jurisdiction under which the business was formed, for a foreign reporting company only, country jurisdiction of first registration, IRS individual taxpayer identification number, ITIN, including an employer identification number, EIN. A foreign reporting company that does not have an ITIN or EIN must report a tax identification number issued by its foreign jurisdiction and the name of that jurisdiction. Such a company has to report the primary location in the United States where the company conducts business. For beneficial owners and company applicants, the following information should be reported. Your full legal name, date of birth, complete current address, official identification. Official identification information includes the unique ID number and the state, local government, tribal authority, or federal government authority that issued the ID. An image of the ID must be submitted as well. Acceptable forms of ID are a U.S. passport, U.S. state driver's license, U.S. state, local government, or tribal ID, or a foreign passport. What is a FinCEN identifier and how can I use it? A FinCEN identifier is a number that indicates that the reportable information of an individual or reporting company has been submitted. Having a FinCEN identifier is not compulsory. It's just an option to simplify reporting. If a beneficial owner or company applicant has a FinCEN identifier, the number can be included in a BOI report instead of the reportable information. A reporting company may request a FinCEN identifier when it submits a BOI report by checking a box on the form. When should my company file its initial beneficial ownership information report? When your company is required to file a report depends on when it was formed. There are three possibilities. Companies created or registered to do business before January 1st, 2024 have until January 1st, 2025 
to file their initial BOI reports. Companies created or registered on or after January 1st, 2024 and before January 1st, 2025 have 90 calendar days after receiving notice that their company's creation or registration is effective to file their initial BOI reports. Specifically, this 90 calendar day deadline runs from the time the company receives actual notice that its creation or registration is effective or after Secretary of State or similar office first provides public notice of its creation or registration, whichever is earlier. Companies created or registered on or after January 1st, 2025 will have 30 calendar days from actual or public notice that the company's creation or registration is effective to file their initial BOI reports. There is no annual reporting requirement. Reporting companies must file an initial BOI report and updated or corrected BOI reports when there's a change in beneficial ownership or an error is discovered. How does my company file a beneficial ownership information report? Filing a BOI report is a simple process using FinCEN's BOI e-filing system. Hit the Get Started button to begin, after which you'll be presented with three options. File PDF BOIR, File Online BOIR, System to System API. Going with File PDF BOIR allows you to prepare a report offline at your convenience. This is really useful. This option allows you to add information as you receive it in the event that the information you need to complete the process does not all come in at the same time so your work in progress may be saved. A second way to submit your report is by selecting File Online BOIR. You'll be presented with fields on an electronic form to fill in the relevant information. With this option, there is no intermediate stage. You must complete the entire form. There is no option to save and continue later. A third way is by System to System API. To use this method, select the button Contact FinCEN for API information. Further details will be provided by a FinCEN representative who will get in touch with you. After submitting your BOI report, you will receive a notification that lets you know if the submission was successful or didn't go through. And after submission, you'll be able to download a copy of your report. There is no filing fee for submitting a BOI report. Keep your beneficial ownership information current. Your BOI has to remain up to date. If there are new beneficial owners or changes in previously reported information, you'll need to file a new report no later than 30 days after the date of the change. So there you have it. In this video, we've covered a lot of ground. Hopefully you're now familiar with the most important aspects of the new FinCEN Beneficial Ownership Information Report. Here they are once again. The Beneficial Ownership Information Report identifies the owners and applicants of business entities that are formed or registered under US law. There are 23 types of entities that do not have to file a Beneficial Ownership Information Report. Beneficial owners are individuals who exercise substantial control over a reporting company or who own or control at least 25% of the ownership interest of a reporting company. An applicant is an individual who either directly filed the application that created or registered the reporting company or under whose authority the application was filed. Only companies created or registered after January 1st, 2024 are required to report their applicants. BOI information will not be made public, but will be accessible to federal, state, and tribal authorities. Penalties for failing to file a report are severe and include hefty fines and imprisonment. We hope you found this information to be really useful. Do remember to check out our Turek website for a wide range of other small business resources. Good luck with your small business.